Hi guys, welcome to Simple Programming. In this video lecture, let us see what is the use of at the rate of JSON enum default value. Before we implement it, let us try to go to our postman and let us try to run this example. We all know that enum brings in type safety, which means I cannot give any value here except for the value defined in the enum. Now let's see what happens if I try to give a different value. it would result in error, right? So, it makes it life very difficult to validate these scenarios or in case if you don't want this error to happen, there is a way to handle such scenarios. You have to make use of at the rate of default enum value. So, what I've done here is, I've introduced a default value which is going to be unknown. If someone sends a value that is not chemistry, physics or max, enum type is going to be unknown. And in order to make this work, you also need to enable a key in the spring application.yaml. So the key is spring.jackson.deserialization read unknown enum values using default value. You can also make it as null, for example, you can read unknown enum values as null, but what if the field is not a mandatory field? It would obviously be null, which will make life difficult to validate that scenarios. So in this case, it is advisable to have a default value so that it will help you with validating your API request. I definitely suggest you guys to take a look at this particular key here because this has a lot of values that you can configure especially when you work in APIs. You don't have to write a lot and lot of codes. You can configure different scenarios that might be helpful for you tackling this property key. All right, the key has been configured and we have a default value defined here. Now let us try to run this example. I'm going to keep a debug point here and I'm going to debug it. All right, the server has been started Let's go back to a postman and I'm going to send in the value QWERTY. QWERTY is not present in the enum type. Click on send. It goes into debug mode. Let us try to inspect the object here. And inside the major, you could see here the value is now unknown, which is means that it is accepting the request as it is. It went inside the actual controller and now you can validate it. Let's say you have a validator assigned to your controller. Now do you see how easy it would be to validate such scenarios? So this is an example of at the rate of enum default value. Thanks for watching guys and please subscribe for more such videos.